GIMP has six built-in blurs. You can find them under the filters, blur, and as you move the cursor over a selection you can see at the bottom it gives you a very brief description of what the blur is. In this case simple blur, fast but not very strong. We'll click it and there's the effect. Now for the second one we'll use a Gaussian blur. It gives you a preview and it has some settings. At this point in the preview window at 5x5 five five, you can raise it and get an idea of what the blur will look like at various settings before actually applying it. You can also unlink the horizontal and vertical blurring to get different types of effects. The third blur, motion blur, also has a preview window and has multiple options. Linear, and let's increase the length. You can see how that affects it. Angle. Let's take these back. A radial blur, in which case angle. For the radial blur, besides angle, you can select the center. You do that by entering the coordinates of the center. By default, it goes to the center of the picture. You can see that it's 400 on the X, 266 on the Y currently, which for the 800 by 533 picture is pretty much center. Let's lower this down maybe to about 200. Click OK. Give it a moment to blur. And you can see that it's moved it over. Next, we'll pixelize. And it's just that. Here you have a control over the size of the pixels. If you take it back to 1, there's no effect. 2, and you can click it up and make it as coarse as you want. You can also unlink it to get different effects rectangular blurs and once you have it the way that you want click OK next we're going to take a look at selective Gaussian we can set the particular blur radius the delta and you can see how it's starting to affect it. With any of these blurs, or just about anything in GIMP really, if you don't get the effect that you want, you can either click Control Z to go back, or you can go to the history dock to do and redo. And let's take a look at the last blur, which is tileable. Very simple. You have a horizontal, a vertical blur, the radius. There is no preview on this one. We'll do a vertical blur. For comparison, let's do a horizontal blur this time. And let's get an idea of the effect with both checked. And that's the very basic overview of blurs.